Hey, Gary here with your day 67 AI blogging. I'm looking at this table. I know we used up all our Koala credits, so we are back inside of ChatGPT. Of course, I've put all of these into this table so I can see the blog post title and the keyword and the URL to know which post that I'm going to be working on next. And of course, we can always look inside of GrooveBlog to see which one we're going to be working on. And it is the impact or the keyword we're going to be working on next is the impact of astronomical observatories on science. But I'm looking at this and then I'm scrolling through the chat and I'm looking at all the information that we have here and everything that we've learned through all these days. But I'm looking at this table and I'm going, okay, I've got the keyword here, but what is next? What am I doing? Do I remember where I am? Do I remember what I'm doing? Do I remember based upon this outline that was done the last day that I looked at this before running out of Koala credits and then going, okay, I'm going to go back to chat GPT and then asking for this or prompting and starting this conversation again with this keyword inside of this chat with the AI assistant. And it given me this introduction, this early impact, the middle ages, the Renaissance, the modern age. Then it gave me some frequently asked questions. And I remembered how before we had used chat GPT and the plugins that are still enabled in this chat. That's the reason we moved to this chat to go out to the internet and pull the top five versus just coming up with its own. You can see here when it made this outline here, it didn't reach out to the internet. It didn't utilize the plugins. So I decided to just start over and just reset the conversation. And you can see here, okay, I'm back to write another blog post. Can you, can, can you tell me how to start? Or can you tell me how we can start again to write the best blog post possible and the information you need from me and the steps we need to go through to write a blog post that will rank number one on Google? Basically what I'm doing here is I'm just resetting the conversation and you can see it says absolutely. Here is the step-by-step -step guide or a step-by-step -step guide. This is basically, if I remember correctly, exactly what it showed me before, these 10 steps to walk through, starting with key keyword research and SEO analysis. And then it gave me number two, which I think number two and number one may overlap a little bit, but still we can follow this because this guide is laying it out for us. It's given us everything that we need to accomplish here to make sure that we write this post. So the first step is to identify the keyword or keywords you want to target with your blog post. You've already done this step in the past, but it's, wor it's worth mentioning. Once you have your keyword, you can ask me to perform an SEO analysis on the keyword and the top ranking pages to understand what they are doing right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down here and say, let's start with step number one. The keyword is impact of astronomical observatories on science. Go ahead and press the arrow to say go and just see what we get. Basically what I want to do is I'm going to get back to where we were, the blog post outline or the blog post title and outline creation. I like what we have. I don't mind the title, but I definitely, or I'm thinking for sure, I want to do the outline, redo the outline creation. Here you can see that this time we started off going out and letting, or going out to the internet, letting the AI go out to the internet and start doing the SEO analysis based upon that keyword. And then it says, here's what we can do next. You can see how it jumps straight to number two, or now it says step two is create an outline. Again, it skipped the, or it didn't start, or it started with step one. Step two, I think is the same or could be added into step one and step two. And then the blog post title and outline creation were steps three and four. But you can see down here, it's gone ahead and it said step two is create an outline. Step four or step three now is write the content. Anyway, you can see where the focus is here. I want to refocus and I want to say, okay, first steps first, first things first, let's go out to the internet, do that keyword analysis, which it did here with the SEO core AI plugin. Now let's go ahead and do step number two. And the entire point of this video is to work with the AI as an assistant and always maintain that idea or the thought process of what is it we're trying to accomplish? What's the end goal? What's the outcome we want? And in this case, we want to write a better outline. We want to write a more effective outline. We want to make sure those frequently asked questions are actually pulled from the internet and any other ranking factors that it can do during an SEO analysis, that it can use those plugins to go out and get that information from the internet. We definitely want to make sure that we're getting the most and getting the most and being 
as effective as we can using ChatGPT, ChatGPT4 with the plugins specifically by letting it go out and pull that content. Here we can see now it's doing the outline or I said step number two. And at this point it's used WebPilot and it's gone out to the Wikipedia page and it's pulling information from Wikipedia. So this is something completely different that we've never done before. It's never taken this path, never taken this path where we ask it to lay out the steps and then said, okay, now do step number one. Okay, now do step number two. So we're getting a different output based upon the input. And I already like this. And again, I don't want to change the style. I don't want to change the thought process and the focus of what we're trying to accomplish, which is to create the content for the blog post and get it posted, get it indexed, get it ranked. But check this out. Thought provoking questions. Here are some thought provoking questions. This is an angle that we've never taken before that we can add to the blog post. Or we can go down this rabbit hole and say, okay, now we're here in step two. We have some thought provoking questions, but go back and I have another question is, I said, okay, go ahead and do step two, which was create an outline, but I think it went back to the original step two and it went and it did analysis on the top ranking sites, which in this case for this keyword is Wikipedia. But going back to that and the fact that it ignored this step number two, which I thought it was going to do, but this is the problem, right? Like I just said, now step number two. So you never know when it's going to say, okay, step number two, step number two, and it's just gonna pull a step number two from somewhere previous in the conversation that we weren't thinking step number two in our minds. And again, we weren't being precise and clear when we're working with our assistant, whether it's an AI or whether it is a person that we're having do this outline or accomplish all these steps. When we gave them all the steps, hey, I need you to do steps one through 10 for this keyword because we're working on this blog post. Go forth, give me the information, bring it back when the blog post is finished. But I do like this now and I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay, cool, step number two. And I like this because now we have some thought provoking questions. Now I'm just gonna say, go ahead and do step number three. To get an idea of what it's thinking and now what it's gonna do, it's using WebPilot again. So let's see what step number three it is on. Because step number three here is write the content. But also if you go back up to what I think it's looking at, step number three here is the blog post title. Based on the keyword, we need to create an engaging SEO friendly title for the blog post. So let's go ahead and see, based on the information from the Wikipedia page on observatories, here are some key points that can be included in this blog post. Definition and purpose of observatories, type of observatories, location, historical observatories. So what step number three is it on? Here you can see it is step number three, write the content. Once the outline is approved, we can start writing the content for each section. You can ask me to write the content for each section one by one, which is what we normally do. But again, we've gone down this rabbit hole. We found some of these thought provoking questions. And you can see here that it says now the next step is to create the blog post or the outline for the blog post. So let's go back and we were on step number three, then we're then before that, we had done step number two. I really am digging this idea of thought provoking questions to add to the blog post or maybe at the beginning of the blog post. But I've confused myself on what step we're on because create an outline, write the content, definitely not what step we're on. But here you can see we did the keyword analysis. We did the top ranking site analysis. But step three was supposed to be write a blog post title. So we can come down here, step number two, step number three and I don't see a blog post title, but now it's saying we can write the outline. So I'm just gonna do this at this point because I have some questions. My thoughts are being provoked at this point because I'm lost in the conversation. So at this point, my input is going to be what step of what process are we on right now? Please show me the steps we've done and the steps we need to do next to write a blog post on this keyword. I just wanna see if it can recenter and tell me where we are in the conversation because based upon the conversation so far, it hasn't shown me that it's following the first steps one, three, one through 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. But now it's saying, and you can see it went back to that first outline or those first key steps. And you can see that it did keyword analysis and research, then it did competitor analysis, and then it did content research. We've gathered some key points from a reliable source that could be included in this blog post. So you can see here, whether this is AI hallucination or whether or not it didn't take its advice exactly, you can see that it added step three, content research. Because here's where we started. Okay, I'm back to write another blog post. Can you tell me how we can start again to write the blog post or the best 
blog post possible and the information you need from me and the steps we need to go through to write a blog post that will rank number one on Google. Keyword research and SEO analysis, number one. Top ranking sites and analysis, number two. Blog post title, number three. Then four, outline creation. So now if you scroll back down to where we're at, after I ask it, can you recenter or tell me what step of the process we're on right now and then show me the next steps. Step one, keyword research and SEO analysis. You can see it combined those, which I thought it could, unless it's listening to me. But I think it just changes mine on the fact that now we can do a competitor analysis. After I ask it to do step one, then I said do step two. It came up with a different step two, but it's given me that step now. Just a new way of thinking and the fact that it just changed its mind or something based upon the way that I asked it or the input that I gave it, had it go in a different direction and it moved towards competitor analysis and then content research. And now we are ready to create the outline or step four is outline creation. We need to create an outline for the blog post. The outline should include an introduction, several main points and a conclusion. So here's what I'm going to do next. This is the plan. Yes, please continue, but add a, and add an, add a FAQ section before the conclusion and a thought provoking questions after the introduction. Let me go ahead and say section here after the introduction and please get the FAQ and thought provoking questions, questions from the top results on Google. And we're going to go ahead and say go and we're going to see what kind of outline that we come up with now. And you can see I'm adjusting this a little bit, tweaking it a little bit, but as we head towards day 100, we are pretty well ahead of the curve to get to 100 blog posts. And I really have to say that having access to these plugins has changed everything in the way that I've created. And every time that I start a conversation and I look at, hey, let's look at what we can do based upon this input. And the input is, hey, I want to write a blog post. Give me the best way to do this. Give me the best way to rank. Then you can see that as I ask it more questions, as I gave it more input, it took a different direction. It changed the steps. Then I stopped and asked it for the steps because I was confused. So if I'm confused, I simply ask a question to clarify that confusion and then move forward. Now we're back here and it's going to write the outline for us in this next step, these next steps that we have, because the steps to be done, you can see here after the three new steps is to create the outline and then start writing the content. Here you can see it's using Scraper. I can only assume at this point that it's using Scraper to go out get those FAQs, those people also ask, which I forgot to put in here. So again, I wasn't as precise as I needed to be because I'm thinking and doing at the same time. I probably should have stopped, reread that and went back and said, what am I looking for my FAQ? Inside of my FAQ, I want the Google people also ask, but let's see if it's smart enough to know based upon this chat, because we've covered all that in this chat before and we've had it go out and do that for us. Let's see if it can pull that information. Let's see if it's starting just from this reference point here, or if it's actually going back through our chat and using everything that it knows up to now, or all the knowledge that it's gained and I've gained and we've gained together as we proceeded through this process of creating this blog post to make sure that we can create the best piece of content that can rank number one and outrank all the other competition. Now here we have a problem. You can see there was an error generating a response. There's a little exclamation point here. It looks like it's still trying to work, but it's not happening. So let's go ahead and click regenerate response and see what's going on. Although it looks like it's just a connection to the internet that's not happening right now. Whatever that was, looks like we're going to have to go ahead and start that again. So I'm going to restart that and this is acting strange. Getting a little lag here. I think it's something to do with my connection to the internet, which throws off the whole process again when you're having a conversation with somebody. It's like, when you're having this conversation with ChatGPT using the AI, it's no different than if you're connected to the internet and you're talking with somebody when you're talking with your assistant. If things disconnect or you don't have a good connection, you're not going to be able to get the output from the input or the input to the person that needs the input. So sometimes you have to start over. And now you can see whatever problem we were having before, that problem has been resolved after we hit regenerate. I think it was my connection to the internet. So you can see here, based upon the search results, it seems a specific thought provoking questions in fact related to the keyword are not readily available. However, I can generate some potential keywords based on the topic. Based on the search results, it seems that specific 
thought-provoking questions and FAQs related to the impact of astronomical observatories on science are not readily available. However, I can generate some potential questions based on the topic and common themes in astronomy and the role of observatories. Then we have some thought-provoking questions and some frequently asked questions, and then it goes into the introduction and then a very brief outline, which is not like the outlines that we're used to seeing before. So was this response better or worse? I'm just gonna go ahead and say that it was worse and vote that. And then we're gonna come back to this later and we're gonna see if we can start again from square one. Or actually while we're here, I'll just go up to my response manager. I'll go ahead and copy that in right here and I'll say, please list 30 LSI keywords that are related to the keyword we're looking for. And this is the keyword that we're looking for right here. So I'll go ahead and copy that and I'll replace that with keyword and then use those keywords to create a blog post outline to include a blog post title that fully covers the topic of the keyword. We'll go ahead and we will say start and we're gonna see what this does at this point. We're gonna see if this or let's see if this is going to reach out to the internet at all using the plugins, or if it's just going to take that and just say, okay, I'm just going to use my knowledge base and just build. And you can see here, it is actually using SEO core AI and it's going out there. It's going to pull those 30 LSI keywords. It's going to pull those down and it's going to kick off and build the blog post outline. So you can see here now that we've reverted back to our original old style, old school prompt, we're doing the same thing that we did before, before we ever started asking if it could help us do SEO, if it could help us rank, if it could list out all that information. And we've just gone back to saying, here's the keyword, give me 30 LSI keywords, and then start building the blog post. Use those LSI keywords to make sure that you build the best outline that you can build. But you can see here now, that it's actually kept that information where it is thinking about those thought provoking questions after the introduction, which I like, and I'm gonna keep. And then you can see here it's added frequently asked questions, which again, I'm gonna keep. And then now it's added a call to action. Of course, I'm not gonna use that as a H2 or a section, but that would be built into the call to action or the call to action would be, would be built into the conclusion using our hypnotic style writing. So we'll go ahead and add that all, add that all in. And what I'll do at this point is I'll take this outline as the last outline we'll need for this keyword, and then we'll just go from there. And for the rest of these blog posts, what we'll do is we'll just use this same prompt, 30 LSI keywords, give me an outline, and then I'll have it when it's possible or when it can go out, search for those thought provoking questions again, get more precise and exactly what I'm looking for based upon the input that I got in those other questions where it got messed up on the steps. But I really like that idea of throwing in there some thought provoking questions. It's kind of like what we saw in the blog post when we we're using Koala, where it gave key takeaways, just another way to sort of add to or potentially add to the value of our content as we create it. And of course, I'm gonna keep the frequently asked questions and I'll go ahead and write this blog post and I will show you that in the update tomorrow. And we will keep moving forward to day 100. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful and you're having fun, thumbs up, let me know in the comments if you got any questions. I'll talk to you later. Bye.